in the TV business, when we have guests on, we bring people on a lot of the times that have opposing viewpoints and it things happens. can get kind of nasty. Uh -huh. But Dan is able to temper that so that things don't get out of control. Okay. Here. Hey, here. <laughs> yeah, at other places, not so much. No, not the chair. <laughs> Yikes. That was a live back and forth on a Jordanian TV channel. The topic was about the Syrian civil war. It started when a guy threw a water bottle at his opponent and then hurled the chair. The moderator had to try and break it up and then a producer stepped in to pull the guy away. That man, by the way, who threw the water bottle is an outspoken journalist who has been in fights before. Mm. on TV, including this one, where a table from the TV set was <laughs> pulled apart and removed. Uh. Yikes. So uh, he's TV. He's the common denominator. Yes, right. he's okay. the problem. The, the journalist? Gotcha. He goes the there. The journalist. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow, we're supposed to keep the peace, right? Moderate. Well, or at least give that impression, which is what we do. The minute we sign off. Oh, we're. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I want to do that because you didn't share any of that pork <laughs> with us. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Rob, have you ever heard of Agnes McKee? No, I haven't. No? It's a you, great name, though. <laughs> you should know her name. Okay. Because she is now the oldest woman to have thrown out a ceremonial first pitch. Oh, wow. 105 years old. She's got the old school wind up. Yeah, she's cranking it up. It goes underhand. And what a great moment. 105 years old. Thank you very much for being a fan. So that was at Petco Park while she donned a San Diego Padres uniform. And as you saw, she did it in wind-up style. That's how they used to do it. Hey, it was better than 50 Cent. Yeah, it yeah. sure was. Way Remember? better. Yeah. Yeah, no, Look good that. for her. That's special. That's awesome. Very yep. sweet. I just hope when I'm 105, I can even make it to the ballpark. <laughs> let there alone you go. Ball. Yeah. See? Yeah. Well, she's using her walker. You know, you, mm -hmm. you'll be able to do that someday too, Jeff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I won't need the walker. Uh, speaking of sports, LeBron James is in the off season, and he's taking that time to be a dad. If you didn't know, his son plays basketball and is well trained. Uh, his son, LeBron Jr plays for the Miami City Ballers in the AAU fourth grade division one national championship, by the way. No pressure, right, Dad? Oh, that's <laughs> the tournament that's was this past weekend in Kentucky. His son's nickname is Brawny, and Brawny <laughs> scored eleven points, including that. You could tell right there. there. He's a little Look at dad. Stuck. Yeah, you he's got tell. some moves. He's yeah. got some athleticism. But that's still, that's a, you know who your dad is. Your oh. dad's LeBron. Oh, no, you're right. The pressure. But I think he's already gotten some scholarships, hasn't he, Joe? Oh, yeah, fourth grade. <laughs> yeah. I think the Lakers are looking at drafting him. Uh, he would help. Uh, his team won by five points, and LeBron was thrilled. That's cool to see, though. Good for him being a good it's dad. It's cool to right? see his son play well, and it's cool to see LeBron in the stands. There. Stand. Being a dad. Right. No, we saw on. John Calipari there, too, the coach at Kentucky. I think he's oh, the he one who's there? already said, yeah, he's got a full ride here. Uh, <laughs> I bet. Funny. I bet. And we'll see LeBron in a Cavs uniform pretty soon. Yeah. We will. Yeah. Uh, we're going to end with this. Uh, Black Bear was looking for some food and ran into some trouble out on the farmland, but this farmer made sure... He helped out the black bear. The bear's head is stuck in a milk bucket out in the middle of the crops there, and he used his farm equipment oh. to pry oh. that milk bucket off of the bear, and the bear goes running back into the woods. You know, when bears are hungry, they'll uh, get caught up in some <laughs> situations that uh, they need some help with. Who's still using milk buckets? Farmers. Right. Okay, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's corrected cute, on air. And that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Okay, we are out of time. Have a great day. See you back here for News 10 Midday.